Alrighty folks, this is Nurse from Iran Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. I'm back with Rosefall's design here, or the design that he's passed back to me here. And it looks pretty sweet, right? Pretty cool, it's flying, it's doing all this lovely stuff. Well, I say flying, it's a hovercraft. He's added this awesome cram cannon at the front. And I think I'm gonna have to just make that a bit bigger, because it's only a 1300 millimeter. I mean, pa! Pa! We can do better than that. I might actually make it a wee bit shorter as well. I know it'll... It will make it worse, but it'll look cooler. That's important, damn it. He's got all these cool sort of propulsion systems and stuff. He got the hydrofoils on and all that. But I have been doing a little bit of testing, rather than just going blindly into buildings straight away. And uh, I have a rough idea of some of the things that I want to do. Notice I'm not placing any blocks yet, because I have a timer. And I'm going to have to try and stick to that. But I have so much that I want to get done. Now, it has been suggested that it might be a better idea, rather than me waffling and trying to build at the same time, to go with a um, post-commentary. And for the first time ever, I'm going to give that a go. So, right now, I'm going to start my timer. Uh, well, when I'm ready to stop talking, I'm going to stop my timer, shut the hell up, and start concentrating and building. And you will be now speaking in a very few seconds, once I... Let me lift my phone. You're going to be talking to future me, so I'll talk to you guys to wrap up the episode after the annoying alarm goes off. Thankfully, you won't have to hear it this time because I will have that bit muted. So, on with the building. Concentration time. Okay, I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I'm using Windows Sound Recorder, of all things, to record the extra bits. So, this should be interesting. Um, I am currently working on adding the coolers that, uh, that I added a in the cannons in the first episode, I was missing out on, well, I just placed the gauges in more or less as a sort of placeholder, because obviously the maximum gauges you can have on an advanced cannon is eight, and that gives us the maximum. So you see me here going back and forward and uh, making sure that we have exactly the right amount. Now we are lengthening the barrels because the shell that Rosefall chose out, and I actually forgot to change that blast. It needs a bow head. Um, he's gonna have to fix that. Uh, the AP is a bit low on the actual shell, but um, I'm adding the um, and a couple of extra barrel segments to allow it a little bit more uh, room for the propellant burn because it needs a 7.2 or something like that propellant burn, so we need at least an 8 meter barrel. Now I am adding a couple of pro um, just a little bit of propellers at the back because I discovered that if it sits in the water for any length of time or if it has a trouble getting started, those rear propellers or those rear thrusters dip into the water and can't get any thrust. So I figure if I add those two teeny little props, that might be enough to push it forward and get a little bit of lift on the hydrofoils and hopefully push them out of the water a little bit. I think I actually add a little bit more later. Oh, time to configure the missiles. And we're going for a fairly standard setup. I went with an IR camera. Um, I never actually ended up testing these. This could be fun. Um, I think I remembered to remove the failsafe at the end to allow them to fire, but I, I go around at the end and turn all of the ejectors to set to straight up. Um, it's a pretty simple missile type. Um, there's a few fuel. I can't actually read those on my little preview screen here, so yeah, you're going to have to... Uh, well, you'll be able to see it fine in the, in the video. Uh, but yeah, now it's time to tweak some of the AI settings. Um, a fairly basic setup. I want it to stay a little bit further away than it was. It's basically sitting at defaults there uh, with some minor tweaks to disable the reverse and stuff that Rosefall must have made. He actually had a Lua box in here and I don't know why it was horrible. It, it All it did was make the thing want to crash into everything else. All well and good if your ship's uh, made up with rams but ours isn't. Um, so yeah. Now I'm just, uh, I noticed that those props, even though they're set to main propulsion, weren't actually spinning. And I noticed while testing that they weren't always spinning, so I just added a little ACB there to force them to work all the time. I am also adding some at the back, and that will hopefully help a little bit more p pitching the nose forward to allow that to happen. One thing I did notice in testing is because um, of where I put the ejectors, which was maybe a little bit silly, and how low those uh, advanced cannons are to the hull, they have a tendency to shoot off the ejectors at the top, which is not ideal. Um, it probably needs a little bit more work, maybe either lifting the barrel one block or making it so that the ship pitches forward a little bit more, which might actually be a better result. Uh, we can do that by pulling the hydrofoils back, um, 
to make the, the lift happen a little bit further back in the body. Or uh, hopefully those pitch thrusters on the back or the, the pitch propellers I added should help. Now I'm adding a couple of extra missiles because I thought of these earlier. They l I think they look pretty damn cool whenever it's all turned out. Um, just adding a couple of interesting... Well, they're very basic. They're, they're like triple block IR frags. I just remembered something else that I forgot to add on was the laser designation for them. I set these up as laser designated missiles and I actually never got round to putting the laser designators on for them. I was going to use separate ones. You see those little wings up above the missile racks? Um, I was going to put a wee designator on the top of each of them. I thought it would look pretty cool just to have like, you know, little lasers on it and use the, the trick to to uh, attract by your vehicle's missiles as opposed to the ones attached to the weapon controller. You know, you can configure the the missiles to allow uh, like different ships to designate for your for your missiles and stuff like that using the IR or the laser designation. So there's, there's a couple of different methods to do it and this I think would be pretty cool in this ship just to break it up a little bit because the main ones are infrared and this would allow it to deal with things that are heavily laced with flares. That would never be fun. Um, so yeah, I, I decided to run this back at uh, like two times the speed rather than the usual four times just to speed it up a little bit and prevent me from having to hash for ages and make up stuff to talk about like I'm doing right now because I've already talked about this bit. <laughs> but yeah, this is the setup for the laser designation. These are set on spin blocks as opposed to turrets actually and uh, you'll see why in a minute because I, I wanted to have these little missile ra uh, banks on the side. Come back! He's away. And then I had the, the the text box selected so I couldn't get out of the damn menu. Yeah, um, I wanted these to like turn upwards just when an enemy comes nearby and then, you know, fire and stuff like that. I did add a fail safe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it did. So it shouldn't blow off that little section of the hull of it um, if it decides to shoot. I should probably have configured the local weapon controllers, but there's always loads of little tweaks and stuff that you have to do at the end of a build anyway. So I'm pretty sure this thing isn't well, it's pretty close to finished now. I just, you see me saving, just in case. I actually went in that menu by accident because I always press escape when I go to save a prefab for some damn reason. Um, I guess it just makes sense to go there to save, but I figured, hey, why not save it while I'm doing it? So that's that, and I'm setting up the ACBs now as well. I initially had just wanted them to, you know, turn up as soon as the, the ship, um, you know, spawns in, or always set them to like a, I think I set them to a 35 degree angle. Very limited range and just to get them to turn upwards and look cool. I'm going to stick a negative there to get the right orientation. And yeah, I think they look pretty badass there. Uh, but then I decide to add a second ACB um, to turn it back down again when there's no enemies in range. Just because it would only cost an extra ACB and it's really easy to configure. So I switched it up. I, I initially had it set up to when your altitude is greater than negative 500, which is pretty much always is to turn the, set the spin block to negative 35 degrees, but afterwards change that up to the enemy ones, just to make sure that they turn upwards and downwards and, you know, look cool. Be interesting to see what Rosefall does with the rest of this. I think this build's getting pretty much close to being finished. It needs some cosmetic tweaks and things like that. Um, obviously needs the laser designation for those missiles. Maybe an extra AI for the, uh, them to have them on a separate AI to the other weapons because I like to split up my weapons. Uh, ooh, see, we're 30 seconds left, we're running out of time. I oh, know. Um, and I did, yeah, I, I did run out of time while I was doing this. Obviously, I didn't have a timer when I was building this, but right now, I am going to pass you back to past me who is going to start talking again. So, enjoy. And I'm out of time. I'm just going to finish this one little bit. This is just only one one little bit. It's only a little bit. All right, one mind. I'll blast it. Okay. Beam. Thought it was a beam. It's okay. He'll be grateful. He will. Honest. We're done. Right. So we got lots done. I'll probably be talking about it in the uh, post commentary. But oh man, I forgot to do the cram cannon. Hang on. I know I'm cheating, but tough. You'll be fine. You won't mind. It'll be good for you. And we get a much bigger crown cannon out of it. Oh. 
I want like these and like you know fill this this up until I have enough you know crammy stuff. Can't see. Where are we? Nineteen. Nineteen sixty-eight. Two thousand. Okay, we're done. I'm sending it back to Rosefall. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed the episode. Any likes, subs, or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys, and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy, and have a bloody good day.